President Umnangagwa urges Zimbabweans to concentrate on the future while rejecting requests for an electoral recount. Zimbabweans have been urged by President Emerson Umnangagwa to focus on the future and not be sidetracked by those who like to live in the past. Nelson Chamisa, the head of the opposition CCC party, came under fire from President Umnangagwa during the 372nd session of the Politburo in Harare for suggesting a rerun of the polls. He argued that such demands were unreal and exhorted Chamisa to succumb to defeat with dignity. President Umningagwa stressed the necessity for Zimbabweans to advance, pointing out the establishment of a new cabinet intent on carrying out laws and initiatives that enhance people's lives. He urged the party's leadership to assist the administration in putting into effect national projects and programs. The local business community's readiness to collaborate with the government in furthering the national objective was praised by the president. He also expressed happiness with the rise of locally produced goods on store shelves and stressed the significance of the nation's modernization and industrialization. Positive economic indicators, including as rising investments, exports, output, and capacity utilization, were highlighted by President Umningagwa. He emphasized that business was open in Zimbabwe and urged both domestic and foreign businesses to take advantage of the opportunities the nation provides. The president underlined the importance of getting ready for both the upcoming 20th National People's Congress and the summer cropping and agricultural season of 2023 to 2024. He also spoke of the beneficial interactions and collaborations that occurred when he was there at the 78th United Nations General Assembly in New York. While appealing for the withdrawal of the illegitimate sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe, President Umningagwa expressed gratitude for the support received from progressive nations and organizations. He recognized the engagement and re-engagement initiatives that had produced fruitful outcomes. The Central Committee meeting of ZANU-PF will take place in accordance with the party's charter.